Hello, uh, good morning. This is um, Charles Placid, Streams of Light, and I'm. It's. It is awesome news. I'm. It's wonderful to proclaim. But as of March twenty eighth, two thousand and eighteen, by the grace of God, the Lord, and I uh, have officially ended the issue of woman's ordination in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, since March 28, 2018, uh, this this playlist, this this playlist, it's for, and video, uh, and the corresponding notes. I'll talk about that after. Uh, it's all. This is all for the the inf the those seeking for basic understanding and those. Uh, even who are the more informed uh, about uh, women's ordination, that they need to see that everyone, everyone needs to see this video, share it, this video, just this video, share it, because it's going to have all my notes and it's going to have the website link to get to the, if interested, those who want to study it the more. Um, though, there's no reason to study it the more, but those who want to be all around this issue and understand it about concerning women's ordination in this in the Bible and in the councils of Ellen G. White, chiefly though I'm going to present you um, the writings, the councils of Ellen G. White, um, never before seen, and this is this needs to be shared. Um, it's been removed from the sight of many uh, in regards to not only women in the church, but also women in um, in the secular environment and politics. Um, this has been pushed away from the attention of Seventh-day Adventists. Uh, for too long, and it's it's been unnoticed by Seventh Day Adventists for too long, and so a never before seen quote quotes my grand auntie Ellen White. Uh, some rare few we've seen a while, but truly never before seen quotes all here on Streams of Light, my YouTube channel, Streams of Light, Charles Placid. This is Charles Placid, and. This is one of the things so easily to be seen, and yet we've made so huge of a mess around it. Um, yet it's it was right there in the writings of Ellen G. White. It was too. It is right there in the Bible. And don't take my word on the the biblical part. Ellen White says that it's right there in the Bible. Uh, this matter about the the relations between men and women and other other quotes too on top of that she says that also women's rights and um, uh, if they're able to vote and in politics or in the church governance and right now I'm going to say this all laymen all ministers of churches all um, uh, concerned persons and individuals this is for you to share this is for you to share and to me I'm going to share an email all across to all the leaders of the church and a general conference of what else the division the division leaders the conference leaders union leaders I'm going to do my best and in even more others and this is going to be far-reaching because we have not been following the prophet of the Lord the messenger of the Lord and we have not been following to either the Bible and this is something crucial especially in these last days these last times we're living in and this is one of the things that should not be now there are other things that should not be, and I have that all on my websites on Streams of Light, uh, Charles Placid, my YouTube channel. 
and there you can see many of the more issues that are plain in the councils and plain in the Bible that we need to know in order to be that church militant uh, prophesied of us to be in the councils and in also the scriptures. That church militant to finish God's work and to complete his mission. We need to wake up. The times are upon us. There are those who could care less about Ellen White's writings. There are those just like there are those even more so who would care less about uh, the Bible and what it says and how plain it is. Um, we can only pray and we can only labor hard for them, but those who know to go by the word of God and the testimonies of Jesus, the testimony of Jesus, the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus, and the testimony of Jesus we know is the spirit of prophecy, those who have that abiding faith and are true and truly called Seventh-day Adventists and disciples, truly called disciples of Christ, they will regard what it is, what I'm speaking now, for we have a kindred spirit. And our house, our, our, our home is not on this earth. We're getting ready to follow the Lamb wherever He goes and go into our heavenly, our heavenly home. So let's be about that mission and let's see woman's ordination, the debate, the whole controversy, the whole issue... Let's see it totally removed so we can get on the Lord's track and mission. This is going to be startling for many on the yes vote and on the no vote because of the more that Grand Auntie Ellen White says. And this needs to be put in front of everyone's eyes and attentions. We need to be serious. So wake up, send this out like streams of light. To everyone, in all seriousness, and to everyone, and keep in prayer, the church will not fall. And this is just one way to share it. A, the Lord has shared this light with a baby. A baby. And we've been studying this issue for on and on and on. But he shared this with a baby. And you'll see it on my notes. And this is what I was meant to say. Underneath in the link... Uh, underneath in this video, um, underneath the video title, you'll see a link. Click on that and it'll take you to my Evernote app, my, my notes. It'll take you to my notes where you can see the writings of Ellen White. You can see it well. Everything you need to know about women's ordination, it's just on those notes. Everything. Everything. It's in those notes. Share this video and they'll have that. Share this video and everyone will have that. So we need to wake up, we need to be serious, and we need to be those watchmen giving sound, giving alarm, giving that certain sound by the love of Christ with us, giving that certain sound of that message of warning, because like the watchman of Ezekiel, if you don't speak up, that's blood that's put on you. That's the blood guilt that's put on you. Those persons you could have saved, that's put on you. And all of these issues that are going on in the church now, it did not have to be. It did not have to be. If we just... Went to the Bible and went to the prophet of the Lord, the prophet messenger of the Lord, Ellen White. We just went to the Bible and went to the testimony of Jesus, the councils. All of this, all these issues could have been avoided. It is phenomenal, saints. And the Lord should not have to share this with a baby. But click the link. You will be astonished and to I have the more notes and videos to come on other topics, huge topics. Some are already on streams of light of things that we are not doing in the Bible and in the councils, the writings of Ellen G. White. 
and we are avoiding and we're pushing it away and we're not reading it and we're not teaching it, we're not walking in it on in the light that the Lord has already revealed us. And because of that, many are going to be deceived and many are going to be are going to fall away from Christ because we have not taken our our work as watchmen as God's last day messengers we have not taken our role seriously enough and there's eternal consequences to that but this video it can easily dissipate all of that. See these notes, never before seen notes on the issue of women's ordination uh, in the church and women in politics, women in politics and other and also women in the home. Never before seen writings from Ellen G. White, the prophet herself speaking forth the light of God. Keep in prayer, watch and pray. Watch these videos and pray also and share it, share it, share it, share it like streams of light and see the other videos and playlists too on many another thing that we are not doing. We have been failing to see in the word of God and in the councils. Wake up, saints. Wake up, saints. So you do not get left behind and you're not still asleep. In the time of Jesus Christ, we need to be serious, we need to be Bible observant and spirit of prophecy observant in the writings of Ellen G. White. All right, peace. All right.